Hi guys, this is Tina from Shabby Dabby Doodah. Oh, welcome back to my channel. So, I'm back again with that little kind of accordion type book that we made during the X-Piles series. Now, I've got to confess, I have not touched this for absolutely ages. Um, I filmed the series way back, uh, yeah, months ago to be honest. Um, and I actually now can't remember whether I have done any of this with you guys or whether I did all the bits that I have done on this on my own, if you see what I mean. I definitely did some. Um, you know, during the initial series, but I'm not sure whether, you know, how much of it that we actually did. So I'm just going to show you what has been done so far. So I've got this side and I've got obviously this side. Again, I can't even remember, remember which side I thought that I would use as the cover. I'm thinking probably this is the back cover, just because it's kind of flatter. This has got, um, oh, I thought that was a pocket. Oh yes, it's a, it's a flip out. So maybe it has a pocket here. Or maybe that's all glued down. Um, and I think that's a pocket as well. So, you know, from the point of view of just because it's got pockets, it might be better to have that as the front cover, I think. So on the inside, you've got a pocket here, which has already been put in. And then on this side, you've just got these couple of bits. So this is the bit that I can't remember whether we did together, whether I've done it, you know, off, off camera. So I do apologise. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open it out to kind of show you how it works. Now, unfortunately, obviously, it's a little bit big to fit on the camera. But just to kind of show you. So this is a massive pocket here. Um, and this was made just using my uh, background papers called the Mauve. And then I've got some fussy cut pieces stuck on there. So that's a large pocket there. And then, as you can see, I've got these three sides which have yet to be decorated. So I've pulled in some ready-made bits and pieces, which are, you know, in the same sort of colours as what I've been working with so far. So I'm just going to kind of like play around and see which bits I might like to have in here. So yeah, I've got this one. Now this is one of my perfect pocket sets. I'm not sure that I want this because it's black. And I think, well, actually I haven't got that much other black on there. So I'm going to take that one out discard that so that's one less to choose from now I've also got some of those um decorative edge strips now these were the ones that I made so they're the made collaged up ones um rather than my printables but I thought again these might look quite good on here so I mean I have actually got this green one which might look quite good so let's just kind of see now I just want to refresh my memory of what I've done on the other side because it's such a long time since I, you know, I made this, I just want to have some sort of continuity with regards to the style. So it looks like I've incorporated quite a bit of the um, little vintage paper pad things. So these are the craft paper pads. Now, not craft paper pads, craft paper packs, um, which I have got for sale on my website. So I'm just having a look to see if I've got some more of them handy. Um, but they are for sale on my website. So not on my Etsy shop, but on my shabbydabbydoodah.co.uk. So yeah, just having a quick look to see if I've got some more. And of course, just, just to be really convenient, I don't appear to have any more fat here. I mean, I definitely have some more, but yeah, none none here to use so isn't that just always the way you've never got ah here we go I knew I must have some here somewhere on my desk right so I'm going to incorporate some of these because we have on the other side so it's just for the continuity so I'm just going to put those to one side right let's have a look so I've got this which is just a little foldy flip I've got this which is just a collage piece I've got this decorative side strip and I've got this one which again is, you know, just would operate as a little pocket. So let's have a look and see how we think some of this might tie in. So, I mean, I'm kind of thinking maybe, depending on how, how we want to do this, we might be able to have this decorative edge strip, you know, tucked in on the same page as this piece. Let's move this along. Maybe there or something. And then if I just take a portion of this, 
maybe we can have some of this somewhere you know again just for the continuity so as it's going to tie in with the the rest of the pieces so yeah what do we think to that I mean I think that's quite nice I probably will ink this up it's gone a little bit curly where it's been glued together so then if we had that now I'm thinking hmm we probably need a bit more green or something on this side now uh, just having a quick look what else have I got here hmm. oh, I don't know now oh sorry if you can hear my spoon that was from my my breakfast which I've just like second eaten before I pressed record mm -hmm. oh this is really tricky I'm not sure which pieces I want to use oh I've got this when the clock strikes 12 12 these are just my little fairy tale <clears throat> sentiments fairy tale words which I just absolutely love these You know, I find these fairy tale kind of sayings, you know, quite sort of romantic and whimsical. So this just says when the clock strikes 12. I mean, obviously everybody knows that that's referring to Cinderella. So, yeah, I just think that's quite a whimsical, nice, nice little thing to have. So we could have that there. Now, I've got some purple ruffle. Because obviously we've got lots of purples going on in this little accordion type book old outy thing I don't even know what to call it but yeah so we could have it something like that which I think looks quite nice and then this one maybe here yeah what do we think to that <clears throat> so if I perhaps tear that down now I'm just wondering would I be better off having a space in between these or should I just have that Oh, now I'm not sure, actually. Now I've started mucking about with this. I'm like, oh, might be better off somewhere else. Uh, hmm. I was then thinking, oh, perhaps I'd be better off with this, like, just a little portion of it up here. Instead of right the way down. So, yeah, I could actually just tear that down. Like that. And we could have that there. What about that? And then just take another piece of this. Like that. Mm. Yeah, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? And then the purple ruffle. Yeah, could have anywhere really. So let's just go for this. So I just want to kind of crack on really doing this without overthinking it. And that's, you know, famous last words. I'm always saying that. And then very rarely actually accomplish not overthinking. But okay. So I hope everyone's having a good day. Maybe you are doing some crafting. I hope you're having a nice time. Okay. that piece and then I'm just going to glue this one now this and try and tuck in a little bit under the fabric honestly I made this such a long time ago and now I'm kind of revisiting it and looking again and I'm thinking oh you know this was really fun to make actually I might do another one of these which is weird isn't it because it's been sat there on the side waiting to be finished for months and now I've discovered it you know rediscovered it I'm now thinking, oh, that, that looked a fun project. Why have I not finished it so far? That's just how crafting is, I find sometimes. Right, now I'm thinking maybe have some lace or something hanging off the bottom. So I've just got some here, which is just coffee dyed lace. Now I seem to have mislaid my scissors for a moment. So just going to put in these pinking shears. Mm-hmm. Right, okay, let's just <clears throat> ink around this. Mm. 
Okay. Oh, I mean, how gorgeous is that? Absolutely love that. It's so cute, isn't it? I love the green with the um, with the little girl. So yeah, I'm going to do that like a little belly band piece, and then this here, and then let me just check that purple ruffle. I'm thinking could have here. So right, let's just let's just go for that, shall we? So glue this down onto there. Oops. Okay, right, now this, as I said, is curling slightly. So it's a little bit trickier because it's obviously not going to really want to glue onto the page because it's curling up. So I'm going to have to either, you know, press it down with some weight of some kind or keep pressing it down with my hands. So yeah, let's see. Right, let me just get a wipe. Oh dear. Like that. Right. Now this was just a flip down and then we've got a little bit of purple fabric there to have as a ruffle. So I just whoops, pop that there. Like that. I just want to check that I wouldn't prefer to have the purple ruffle here and just move this slightly higher. Only because I think, oh, would I prefer to have more purple over there? No. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Right. It's kind of allergy season. So, yeah, I'm struggling with a bit of hay fever today. Yeah, I haven't really had hay fever that much for the last couple of years. It's weird. And now suddenly this year, it must be quite high pollen levels because um, I suddenly seem to have it again. It's weird, I don't know why I didn't really for a couple of years, but I had hoped that I was, you know, not going to get it anymore, but obviously I still am. Right, so I'm just going to glue this top and bottom also like a belly band. So like that, and glue that down there like that. Okay. Oh, looking good, looking good. Okay, and then just my little fabric ruffle up here. And again, just going to sort of curve that round. I really like to um, curve my ruffles round. I think it makes them look really cute. So, you know, it's a bit more fun than them being just straight, straight angled, I think. I used to put them straight, I think, really. But, yeah, I seem to have um, evolved, evolved into curling them round now. That just is my favourite way, favourite way to have them. Oops, so sorry, that's the door. Right, I will be back. Oh, sorry about that, that was Natalie arriving. So, right, where were we? We were doing this one, so we've done that side. So let's have a look and see about this space inside. So I've got these couple of pockets here, which we could use. Um, obviously, I've got the rest of that little bit there. So we might be able to put that somewhere. Then got this lovely when the clock strikes 12. Okay. Um, right, I don't know quite now what I'd like going on here. Perhaps we'll have a bit of lace at the top here. That might be quite nice. That one there. Okay, do we want any of this in the background? Maybe just a little bit. Okay. Let me just ink this one up a bit. Okay. Oh, I think my ink's getting really dry now. Okay, right. Let's pop that there. So I'm just going to glue this down. Okay, oops. Oh, honestly, I was just doing something um, earlier on with the sewing machine and, oh, could I get it to work? No. The thread's just breaking constantly. I think the um, pieces are too thick. It's so annoying because it's one of them um, things where, you know, what I was trying to do, they just look better when they're stitched. So it's really, really annoying. 
yeah and that was what I was doing before the video and um oh I was just then showing Natalie when she got here and saying to her you know oh look at this so yeah and you know when then you're just constantly constantly having to re-thread the needle just really really very very annoying I hate threading the needle at the best of times because you know I just can't really see it to be honest very well now I'm wondering actually I might go across to this side um just because I thought that I would incorporate this and I don't want it to look like I've used the other portion of that so yeah perhaps we'll go there now if I just pull in this maybe here oh that looks pretty doesn't it so yeah let's just glue this one down so I just glue this here now, like I say, I actually can't remember, and I do apologise for that, how much of this we did together and how much, you know, or whether I've even done any, you know, off camera. I actually can't remember. Um, but I have put things into those pockets on the other side already. So bearing that in mind, you know, we can obviously then fill in some of these other bits as as we go on here as well. So I've just got that little bit of green lace <laughs> that was just lingering on my desk. But I thought, well, actually, that goes pretty nicely. So I'm going to glue this one down again, like a very tiny belly band. Obviously, it is tiny, um, but I think that's OK. So that one and that one. Pop this right at that top like that. OK. Oh, my son's home from work today, bless him. He's um, not feeling too well. He's got an upset tummy. So, yeah, he's upstairs currently in bed. Well, he might not still be upstairs now, but I can hear kind of movement, but I think it's probably Natalie, but who knows? Natalie and the dog. Um, <laughs> yeah, he's not feeling too well, so I'm sure, sure he'll be fine. But Right, so then I'm going to have this here now. Again, do I want this as a belly band or just a pocket? If I want it as a pocket, I think it's better going slightly over the top of this one. Only because otherwise, I feel like I'm going to possibly knock this. So I think probably having it over the top of that is actually going to be beneficial. So yeah, I think we're going to do that. Now, do I want any other lace on here? I mean, just because I absolutely love lace and I just think it always improves everything so just got this lace here that was just on my desk let's just have a look oh whoops I don't think I've got much lace going on on the other side actually or have I oh actually I think I had quite a bit of purple lace which now I'm not sure that I've got any more of that left or very much I might have to hunt that down because I'm not sure what I've done with that purple lace um, or the lilac lilac lace that I was using on the other side. So I might have to hunt that down because, yeah, I might not have that, you know, easily accessible. Right, so this one, I'm going to glue this down as a pocket, but like I say, it's going to overlap that slightly. So just going to do this with the hot glue like that. Okay, and then just going down here like that and we just oops glue that down like that okay and then like that so oh, I can hear him now I think he's maybe even on the phone um so like that okay now I might just incorporate um oh what was I thinking oh do you know what I've just spotted these got these bulldog clips in this lilac colour, which I tried to colour some of these and it didn't really work massively. But these are going to look pretty good, I think, on here. So this will be a perfect project to use some of these. And also I've got some oops, lilac lace, like not lilac lace, lilac ribbon pieces. So yeah, maybe, oh my goodness, how gorgeous are these? Probably not the ones with the pink, actually. So probably the plain lilac instead. Let's have a look. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> oh, my goodness. How gorgeous does that one look? So, yeah, let's put that one down. 
loving how this looks already. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, love, love, love how that looks. Now, I also had folded some papers to have with this. Now, I'm not sure whether I want to bind these in somehow or maybe kind of elasticate them in. I think probably I do. They need to be cut down slightly because they're slightly taller than the actual piece itself, if you can see. So I will need to cut those down. Um, and then I'll probably just have these attached with some elastic, I think. So yeah, I'll probably do that in slow time, kind of off camera a bit later. Maybe just work on getting this all finished first and then kind of go from there. Right, now my problem is with this, it feels like it's all very low down and I feel like I need something else balancing it out. Let me just see whether I've got anything behind my desk where I keep all my ready-made stuff that maybe will go with this. Oh, hold on. Oh, no. I'm just looking to see if I've got anything sort of lilac or purple that's poking out anywhere. No, and of course I can't see anything yet. Oh, that's just typical, isn't it? Uh, no. No. Oh, I know I've talked about this before. I don't very often use purple and lilac. And um, yeah, it's just one of those things that I just haven't really used very, very often. But not because I don't like it, but just it's not something I've tended to use. Right. I'm thinking maybe actually I should have this somewhere else because otherwise it's like oh my goodness what about that I'm sorry you're off camera now but yeah what about there oh I could even have it oh I could even have it on that envelope as part of the part of the envelope flap should I do that okay right now I'm just using hot glue that's really good for just securing it quickly and easily so if I have that I might even be able to have this underneath as a pocket oh that's gorgeous now I just have to bear in mind how this is going to fold in oh hmm oh I don't know now how this was folding in oh it was doing that right so that works okay doesn't it so yeah we'd have it like that oh that works really well actually yeah that works really well so this one I can have down here as a little belly uh well, I could have it as a belly band or I could have it as a pocket. I'm going to just have it as a pocket, I think. So a bit of glue here. Now I'm just using my hot glue just because it's nice and quick. So, yeah, hot glue that one down like that. Okay. Right. And then... Right, I'm just going to quickly check because I think maybe Natalie just needs a hand with something. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. So, yeah, I'm thinking then this envelope here. So, I'm just going to ink this slightly. Now I've, now I've lost my ink pad. What is going on with me? Oh, no. What have I done with that since I, <laughs> since I popped downstairs? Uh, hmm. Oh, well. Let's, let's go with it, not it. Oh, here we go. I thought, well, that's really weird why I can't find that. Okay, so just a little bit of ink in here. It doesn't really need too much, but just so it's got the continuity with the other pieces. And then just, yeah, a bit of ink here. Okay, right. So that then can glue onto there. So then we've got, obviously, you know, an envelope here that we can put bits in, and we've got the pocket beneath. Now, the only thing that I would kind of say is... I haven't really left very much room here to put things in the pocket so it's a little bit tight um but I don't think it's you know the end of the world to be honest it's it's okay it's doable um just wondering whether I could even put this flap on over the other side but no because I've got some other bits going on over there if you can see so yeah I'm going to put it on like that oh I just just burnt my finger on the hot glue gun um and then just going to put this down here so I'm just using my wet glue for the minute because this is only sort of finished paper I don't want to obviously 
get lots of lumps and bumps from the hot glue. So I just put that one down like that. Okay, now I'm just going to press that down slightly for a couple of minutes. And then I'm just having a look through behind my desk to see if I've got any other small like printables that I could put on as little pockets. No, I can't see any at the moment. Oh, that's annoying, isn't it? Because when I flicked it over, I noticed that actually I've got quite a lot of little, you know, pockety bits, which I thought, oh, well, that would be quite fun to have those. But it, again, I mean, it doesn't matter, to be honest, it doesn't matter. But I could have had one here, but, you know, to be honest, it would have been a squish to be able to get things in and out. So, yeah, I think that's fine. And then here, I could obviously use my bulldog clips to keep the envelope down. I mean, it's not essential, but like I said, I actually haven't had that many opportunities to use these lilac clips. So it's quite a nice opportunity to use them. So like that. And then obviously you can press those little little bits down like that. So I don't know whether I just want to have maybe a little bit of lace or something overhanging the edge, maybe a tiny bit. I'll just have a look and see. Do you know, I honestly thought that I had kept some of the lilac lace um, separate, but now I can't seem to see it anywhere. Uh, I don't know what I've done with that. Um, okay. Yeah, must not have any of that. Let me just check. No, I can't see any. I've got some pink lace. Maybe we could use some pink. Okay. Oh, still haven't found my scissors. It's just going to be one of those days today. Not organised at all. <laughs> Even worse than normal. I don't know whether the uh, pink's going to look right, but let's give it a try. So... I'm just going to cut this header piece off. I know you'll talk about this all the time, but yeah, I just prefer it without the header. So I just like to tear that off really. So let's have a look. Okay, so I'm just going to cut that down. Again, just using those, um, you know, zigzag scissors. So we could have that like coming out from the bottom. And then what I might do is put maybe like a bow or something on the bottom as well, just to make it look really, really pretty. So just going to glue this down like this. Now I'm just using my Anita's Tacky Glue, which is just a wet PVA type glue to glue this on. But you could use, you know, any glue that you like. Okay, so like that. And then just a little bit here, just to kind of glue on there where it's just running along the edge a bit okay looking good so love how that looks so far still got my when the clock strikes 12 would you believe I still still haven't actually used it anywhere so I'm thinking maybe I could have it there which sort of ties in nicely with the shoe doesn't it because you know the shoe and Cinderella and all of that it feels like it goes quite nicely so just quickly ink that up a bit okay oh I've gone from thinking that wasn't juicy at all so now it seems super juicy I don't know what's going on there um right so that side or that side I mean weirdly I thought that side but maybe here yeah and that's also quite a good thing because it's going to hold that lace in place so you know the lace obviously I have glued down but just in case it doesn't glue very well this also kind of clamps it in place as well so like that so yeah that's kind of it really um we're just going to obviously fill some of the pockets and things like that like I say I had actually filled quite a few of the pockets on the other side already I don't know whether I've still got other bits to fill because it's some time. I can't remember now how far I've got with this. Um, and then the last thing that I will do is do something with this piece to actually kind of attach it in here. Probably, like I say, as maybe like a pull-out journal. You know, a very simplistic journal. I'm not going to even probably put a cover on it or anything. It would just be more like a bunch of paper. Um... Or, you know, maybe I guess I could even have it as a flippy pad somewhere. 
I think probably more useful as a pull out journal. Um, so I will probably do that in slow time and then I will come back with a flip through of this and hopefully, you know, I'll list this on my website. So, um, yeah, I hope you like it. I hope you feel inspired to maybe do something similar. As I say, it is months and months since I actually filmed the series. So, I mean, I can't really even remember kind of making the basis of this. Um, but it is very super pretty now that it's coming together. So, yeah, perhaps we could come along and make some more of these types of things. So let me know what you think below. And, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks, then. Bye.